Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is so crazy. It's my first video I'm going to be putting up on my channel and it might go on my mom's channel as well because she's been the one pestering me about starting a YouTube channel and I've been pretty hesitant because it's not really something I necessarily have time for but you make time for the things that are important and I really like sharing my ideas with people and being creative and consulting and there's just so many different things I like to do so this channel I want to be a home for people a place where we can share ideas and connect and maybe gather someday in the future so if you'd like to subscribe please do ring that bell and follow me for more future things that I'm going to be conquering um, whether that be through makeup lifestyle or vlogging I'm not really sure don't know how often I'll post but hopefully I get more videos out here soon in the next month today I'm gonna to be showing you my daily makeup routine now to say that this video is highly requested would be an understatement but considering a lot of my friends and family actually always ask me how do you do your makeup because I would say my makeup's pretty neutral with a hint of glam like I, I like to level it up just a little bit because I work you know an eight to five job eight to five job every single day so you know spending an hour to two hours on my makeup is not necessarily something that's attainable and don't get me wrong I love sitting in front of the mirror and just kind of taking the time to do my brows or to do my eye makeup but in the reality spectrum I'm not gonna wake up early I'd rather sleep in and take maybe 10 to 30 minutes if that to do my makeup so I'm gonna be showing you my daily routine what do I do to attain a makeup look that you'll see at the end of the video. So please subscribe, follow along, and let's get to it. So one of the first steps I do is hydrate my face, and I like to use the MAC Prep and Prime Spray. Um, this really, for me, gives a lot of, I guess rejuvenation would be the best words, but it smells like, this one's the lavender scent. There's like rose, lavender, and like a gold flaked one, but... It smells really good and it kind of just really gives my face the hydration it needs because your girl can get a dry combo oily face. Next I go in with the Illuminating Daily Moisturizer. This is the Target Up and Up brand and honestly I used to use the Avena one. Um, that one can just cost a lot and on, uh, this one seems to work just as well for me. So I can use some other ones but for moisturizer. For some reason, my face is very prone to breaking out from lotions, so like Clinique, one of theirs makes my face break out, but then there's like a daily moisture surge that actually works for my face, so, but I'd rather go the cheap route, so we use the Target brand. Next, I'm going to prime my face, and right now I'm actually using a sampler from Lorac. Lorac? It's the Pore Poreffection Mattifying Face Primer, and I use maybe like a little pea-sized amount. Oh gosh, is this almost out? No. A little, that little guy amount, and I'm just going to press this in to the place where my pores are, which is right here. Sometimes I have like right here where I'll put it, but I focus mostly on this cheeks area to get it really um, filling in those pores. So I kind of press it around, and any of the remnants I go around my face but I focus on this area and then next we're going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear if y'all have not tried this one I actually really like it it gives my face a very like I don't know how they do it but it's very luminous and dewy but not like oily and so I use typically like a pump and a little bit extra and then I'm going to go in with my beauty not beauty blender but the beauty sponge um and start getting this on my face and you might tell me this is not your color but your girl sometimes can't color match with l'oreal because they don't really have testers i think ulta actually now does drugstore testers but um i would say this is pretty close to my skin tone maybe it looks a little bit orangey but in the normal light it doesn't and right now I'm in front of my window but it's almost it's 7 p.m. and it's been raining all day here so we're just going to be blending this around I personally just like to take my time blending it because I don't want to look like crappy and also I'll be looking at like myself in here because I don't have my own mirror because it's over there 
and a girl can't just pick up a mirror from the wall. But there we go. We're blending that all out. Hopefully that looks good because I can't really tell right now. Um, next, I'm going to be going in with some concealer. So I'm going to be using Makeup Revolutions concealer. I believe I use yeah, C3. And this one's the lighter shade to kind of cancel out the darkness. I don't really feel like I have a ton of darkness, but and then I do a little here. I don't always do this, but sometimes when I'm feeling a little spicy and zesty, I do. And then I'm using the Fit Me in 10, which says it's light, but for some reason this looks darker on me. And I have all of skin tone, so I get very confused with my skin tone lately. It'll be like super tan one day, and then the next day it's what I think is pale. But we're just going to blend this out as well. And don't at me, this beauty sponge is very dirty, but uh, today is the day that we get to clean the makeup stuff, and I couldn't do that before this video, so lo siento mucho. We're just going to blend that out. And when it's... Look how blended that looks. Beautiful. And then we're going to do this side. We can zip through if we want to. If you guys want to look at my wall... There's some fun things on there. I just made this little guy right here. It says, um, I forgot the joy of suffering from King's Kaleidoscope. Um, they're one of my favorite bands. My friend from college is actually her brother's the lead singer of it. Fun fact. And then this one, I did watercoloring with my friends. And this is a little cute little wooden cat. Because my name is Cat, a lot of people get me cat trinkets. And my sister got one, got me that, I think, because she was in like a not like, like an antique-ish shop and then she felt awkward not buying something so she ended up buying that and she's like did you here you go i'm like 98 percent sure that was from her but next we're gonna set our concealer and personally i always like to go in with my little ring fingers and press that last little bit down to make sure it's all blended in because sometimes if you get too much like crusty chunked up then it looks gross when you set it so this is i think it's just called banana powder yeah i'm not really sure a lot of the stuff i use is either janky or don't know where i got it this one i think i got from one of my mom's like ipsy bags or something or maybe my boss's because she'll give me her things but anyways i'm gonna set my under eye and I don't personally don't use a lot of powder because my under eye can be kind of dry, but get that going. Anyways, a couple of things on here. This is from a camp I worked at. This is one of my friends. She works in Bolivia. This is from my sister. It's like my little memories wall for things that I just want to that one and then I have this cute wall right here. I could show you another time in another video. I'll do a little room tour, but it's messy, so I'm not gonna show you the bottom half of my room. Um Next up, I typically will go and set with a face powder, and I've been using the Pure Face Powder. Powder. If you guys didn't go to Ulta this month, you missed out because they're doing their 21 Days of Beauty sale. Um, and I've been using this to like set around my face, but honestly, I don't really want to use that too much. So we're just gonna lightly. I barely like tapped in there, but just to kind of set that. And next. We're gonna go in with bronzer. Now I have two different brushes that I use. One is from e.l.f. and one is from Real Techniques. They both look like this. Some days I use one, some days I use the other, but I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. one and I think, does it tell us what this was? I don't even know what this was. I just personally really like this for her bronzer because it just gives me a good chunky bronzer thing. So for your gals who don't know, bronzer contour stuff goes right here. And I never pull it forward more than the eye because I don't want that kind of look. I just want to define this area. So we're just going to go in with that. And look at that. To that side, you see, gives a little bit of definition. And we're going to pull it up to our forehead. I go into my hairline because I like doing that and I think it looks a little better. So we're going to do the same with the other side. And I know ladies will do like different, um, some people like putting on their eyeshadow first. I definitely like putting it on last because a lot of my stuff does not fall out. So I like doing it last also because I think that's what I put the most time in, I would say, that or my bronzer. Um, but I don't know. Next, we're going to be going in with blush. And 
let me tell you i got this brush from it's a morphe m105 i don't know what people use it for but i've been using it for blush and it's my favorite because the issue i had before is i was using this elf brush i don't know what it was but an elf br blush brush is what i was using it for and it has an angle so i liked it because i kind of put it on there but it's very squarey i guess would be the word and it would just I don't know my blush felt like it would fade after like an hour and I'm like <laughs> I put some on today and I just I like a little bit of blush that stands for the rest of the day so this pick picks up a ton so I like to make sure it gets shaken out and then I'm just gonna go on the apples of my cheeks and pull it back a little bit and it gives you just a nice beautiful little flushed look I'm using the uh, Tarte clay palette too and I think this palette had a lot of content did it Um, it just broke my highlight. Can we just point this out? That is too funny because that's never obviously happened. I didn't even know it was loose. But now it's all over the floor and all over my pants. But um, this palette had a lot of controversy when I can remember. This is one of the first like palettes I bought myself. And I was like, sick palette, man. But all the names in here were so weird. And I looked at the other, the Clay Pay Play Palette one, and they're literally all the same names, but different shades in there. So there's a big controversy. Cause like this, this bronzy shade is called Onyx. Like that would be, I think that was black in the other shade one. Um, this is called Smoke. And this one, which one was, well, this highlight was called Timber, I mean. And that always makes me think of that Kesha song with Pitbull, I think. Like, we're going now. I'm yelling timber. Anyways, we're just going to finish off this blush real quick. And maybe I just put on too much because I was too focused on this palette now. And we probably look a little crazy. But that's... <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, see, the beauty of makeup is you can buff it out and make it look better. Oh, no. This is already getting destroyed. The way that Kat fixes mistakes is she gets her big fluffy brush and blends it out more. Cute, right? Okay, cool. We're just gonna ignore the fact that this is my first video and I'm already messing things up. But that's the beauty of makeup. It's not really a mess up as much as it's just like a trial and error, I would say. So um, next we're gonna go in with setting or Putting, this I got on the Ulta sale. I've already had it before, but um, we're going to prime our eyes. And so, okay, well, I'm just going to grab some from this side and put on this side. And I always press this into because when you think of a primer, it's like the base of it to hold it in all day. And so I use my little ring fingers, spread her around, spread the joy. And I'm going to start with my brows, actually. I'm going to be using two products. Um, one is my Anastasia Brow Wiz. It broke, like, the second day I bought it last year, and I haven't used it in a while. Um, previous to a couple weeks ago, but we're just going to pause you because this is the part where, like, I'm not going to browse at all, and I'm not going to show you how I do them unless you guys request it below, but it's just kind of a waste of your time, and I'm so sorry. One moment, and we're back. Um, this could be a total mistake because I've never tried this product, but we're going to try it together. It's the Benefit Give Me Brow, Give Me Brow, whoops, can't say give me, but, um, I got it on the Ulta Cell, so it was half off, so $12, and we're going to see how this works. I mean, granted, I already filled in my brows, but might as well try a little pizzazz for them, you know? Um, but you guys can see them, cool, beautiful. We're just going to comb them up, I'm assuming. I don't know if I'm actually going to tell the difference because I already put stuff down, but can y'all comment below? Let me know. Is that a difference? Do we see this? I don't know. I feel like some people could be watching and be like, what are you doing, idiot? And I'm like, I, I don't know, I've never tried this. I tried, I put the color on my hand and I think I've tried like a little sample maybe of some before, but it feels good on my brows. Maybe this would be a good like lazy girl brow. If it fills it in, good. Does it? No? No, we're going in the same spot and it's not doing anything. Can we like press, it? there we go. Well. Do you see this empty spot? Come on, girl. 
but now we're gonna have to go back in with this pencil. Lo Santa Mojo, Kid Tracy. There we go. I'm not really a good brow whiz and you know. <sighs> Next though, we're gonna go in with our eyes. So I'm just gonna show you my basic favorite everyday gray eye look. And it starts with one moment, because I forgot it. JK, it was in my lap the whole time, but, or right next to me. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, well, this is the life of a, of a beauty YouTuber, right? Um, this is by Wander Beauty, and I have no idea exquisite eye liquid shatter shadow called gilded rose and literally i'm gonna buy more of this i got this like as a sample and it's like oh i'll try it and personally it's like my favorite so i'm just going to put this all over my eyelid this is gonna be our main color beautiful and it looks messy because it is so we're going to fill that in right there and there and this is the tricky part with eyeshadow and showing y'all but hopefully i can so i'm just going to pat this in and it's you can really do this with any shadow what i'm showing you so find your favorite liquid shadow or an eyeshadow but just pick one as your base color and then the second color we're going to go in with i'm going to use my what brush is this? Morphe, the M441, and I'm gonna go in this palette and use this color right here, Journey. It's kind of like, okay, all of that highlight literally just cracked all over my pants. What a joy. The blessings of beauty life, you know? Um, but we're gonna go in with this color, Journey, and I'm gonna go in our crease, and I'm gonna build it up right here. Now I know some people do it the opposite. Sometimes I do the dark color, the outer corner first, but sometimes lately I've been liking doing this because I just want to fill in this little corner crevice. So we're gonna do some windshield wiper motions and then I bring it a little bit in here towards the end. Um, but I use most of the product out here in this outer corner to build that shadow look. And then I'll bring in a little bit under here like so that way see do you see like the before and after or before and after we're gonna go in the other eye beautiful that little last room it's right there and one more a little round of it and then we're gonna pull it under here excellent and then I'm going to grab my little eyeshadow precision precision brush i use this one for no not this one wrong one guys wrong one this one for the under eye and we're gonna grab that same color and go here beautiful right and this is i can be very intimidating to put under eyeshadow but with this soft of a color for your eye tone i mean this one's a good one for me but if you find one that just gives you a little bit of pigment and is not too harsh, then I'd go for it. And if you want to spice this look up a little bit more, you can add a little bit deeper of color and go right in that corner crease. And I just like press it in. See, so it gives you just a little bit more depth. And this is just basic using three shades. And if you want to do a fourth one, which I'm going to do, we're going to pull that in a little bit. I'm going to use from my Stila, it's like the little mini shadows, or the single shadows. And this one's called Kitten, which is so cute because my name is Kat. And it has your foil look and then your glimmer shadow look. And I'm just going to use my finger and go on the foiled side and press it over the top of here like so and then we'll get the sparkles and just tap it on top see that before and after kind of look beautiful we're gonna do the same to the other side 
and a little bit more of this and use that sparkle right on the middle of your eye beautiful isn't that great and then I always personally go back in with my blender brush wherever I put that right down here and then I kind of blend this all out so hopefully it looks a little bit more uniformed and next we're going to go in with liner I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Liner in Noir Black and I'm really bad at lining so I'm not going to use that mirror because that's impossible for me so we're just going to start in the beginning and slowly bring it out. Wing it out a little bit. And now the other side. Does it match? There you go. It's a little uneven, but we'll survive. Hey, what's up? And now I'm going to add highlight. Actually, I'm going to set my hair with face. Oh, Lord Jesus. Come on. Okay. I'm going to set my face with my Morphe setting spray. This is a continuing setting mist, and it literally, I think if you buy it, you'll understand, but it feels like a light cloud. This feels like more, not violent spray, but like on my face, this is just like you walked through those misters at like theme parks. I think of like Six Flags when it's like this huge mist when it's hot out, and you just want to stand under it, and this is what it feels like. Do you get that feeling? That's what it is. But we're going to go in and highlight our face so I'm just going to use my Morphe to prep my brush and I'm going to use this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I don't know if y'all have used this before. I've used it. I love it. And we're just going to swirl our brush and get those. Just go right above but not too close to my eye but like not like in my bronzer so like kind of that blushy area and we're going to go here. And I'm sure a lot of people use fake lashes, but your girl doesn't really like to. Maybe in life I will one day, but right now I'm just lazy and I don't like to do all that. And last but not least, we're going to try out the It Cosmetics Superhero Elastic Strength Stretch Voluminizing Mascara. I literally just bought this today, so Lord willing this stuff works, and if it doesn't, we're totally grand. It's already first impressions, the very pretty bottle, because typically I use, this is my favorite combo, is the Maybelline and Rimmel, 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 um, these two guys are like my favorite combo for my eyelashes, um, and I like using two, I'm fine with using two, I know people are like, that's very, a lot, but it's not for me, it's fun. So we're going to try with this, see how our first reactions of it are. Oh. Right away, I'm liking this. Oh, this is pretty. It's really grabbing my lashes. Wow. And we're gonna go in with the bottom lashes. Ooh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, we're gonna go in the other eye. This is my shoe rack over there. <laughs> in case y'all are wondering. Wow, this brush is really nice because it combs through. Do you see that? It's like a very fine brush. I'm gonna dip it in just one more time because I want to get some more on there to get the other lashes coated. But... 
Wow. This is pretty. Oops, what is that? That was just a little flaky flake from some. Okay. Okay, I just got a little bit in my eye and it's kind of stinging. Oh, and I got my under eye, but we're living. Um, you can just tell I'm not really a beauty inspiration, but I mean, I think I'm beautiful. That's really pretty. After like one main coat, I'm just going to go in a little bit more with my eye. And I think we are done, right? No, because your girl wants to put on a little bit of lipstick. It's gonna prep with some chapstick. Get that all in there. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite lipsticks. One okay, if y'all have not checked them out, uh, the Maybelline, this is the lipstick, oh, Spicy Mauve. It's their Shine one. They have like a shine, a matte, it's not suave. What's that word? Uh, not suede. Another one. They have quite a few options, but this is one of my favorites because it gives you that slight gloss look, but or like juicy, not juicy, but just really pretty, you know, shiny, I guess, look, which is what it does. So, gonna skip the liner and just go in cold turkey. I don't know if that makes sense. And then I always have to get that so I don't get my teeth. And I have this world's like, look at the lips. They're gone. No? Hey. But anyways, um, guys, this is my daily makeup look. I am so glad y'all stay on the journey with me because we broke some highlighter, lost our train of thought, and now we're here to the finished look. This is the look I kind of went with as y'all followed along. Do you remember when the blush was a little crazy? It's still there. Look at the eye look. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you join us next time on Chats with Cat. Have a good day. Bye!